complete set of DNA in it. DNA lies at the center of your cells, inside the nucleus. It's arranged in a spiral shape called a double helix, and it comes in long strands called chromosomes. Well, it's, it's not like that. Let's take a look at that double helix again. Each strand of DNA contains millions of pairs of molecules. We're still going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can look at our own personal DNA from inside our cheeks. So, DNA is in every single cell in your body. Your whole body may have cells. You have skin cells. You have cells in your hair, in your feet, in your cheeks. The ones in your cheeks are the ones that we're going to attempt to see. Where we're going to do this, we're going to gargle with salt water. We're going to spit that in a cup. Ooh. We're going to add Ooh. some alcohol. And we're going to add some food coloring. And we're going to do some stirring. And hopefully, at the end of it, you'll be able to see these little things that look like lint or dots. And some people, yesterday I did it. It didn't happen today. But yesterday when I did it, I was able to even see a string and pick up a string from the cup. And it was dangling from a spoon. That is my DNA. Oh, wow. Now you won't be able to see it like you saw here. So you're not going to be able to see the double helix because you need a microscope, probably a powerful microscope, like an electron microscope. That's huge and clear. Powerful. But we're going. It's still pretty cool to see that this thing that makes you you that you never see at all. You know it's there, but you ever see it. And you're going to see me either. You're going to hold your salt water in one hand. You're going to take the cup with the alcohol and you're going to very, very slowly pour it on top of your salt water mix. What do we do with you're this? You're not going to stir it away because you don't have a spoon. You're not going to stir it. You're just going to quickly pour it on top. Yeah.